Good morning everybody and welcome to Ken Show and Tell. Today we're going to work on this 2018 club car precedent electric golf cart 48 volts. We are going to replace the MCOR M-C-O-R as an MCOR 4. MCOR 4 stands for the fourth generation of club cars motor control regulator. It's a way uh, to transmit power uh, to the electric motor. It's also an updated potentiometer. This is what it looks like new. Here it is. And people have debated as to which ones are better. The ones that are made in China or the ones made in Mexico. I don't know where this one's made. So we're going to install it and see how well it does. Symptoms of a bad MCOR in these club cars are going to be characterized by the, the club car's inability to hold a steady speed. And so while you have your foot on the accelerator and your foot is not moving, the car will lurch and slow down and speed up, slow down and speed up. It just will not be a steady speed. And what happens to the inside of these M-Cores is that even though they're sealed, they have these sweepers, uh, copper upon copper sweepers, that increase and decrease resistance and therefore uh, increase and decrease the amount of power getting to the motor and therefore the speed. I understand that carbon can build up on these sweepers, these little fingers, and that's what causes them to hesitate. So the only cure is to replace it. So this is what we're First going to thing do. First thing we're going to do is make sure the power is off. See the power is on here, so we want to make sure that this power is off. Okay, and now we want to raise the seat and disengage the no toe switch. In other words, turn on the no toe switch. Here's the no toe switch under the seat. Let's just flip that rascal off. Now the cart cannot progress. Now the next thing to do is to take off the floor mat and using T. You see there's I think there one, two, and over there three, four. Take off those four to release this plastic surround here, and then the rubber mat will come out. Okay, now those four bolts are out. Let's take up the rubber. So this side piece here just pulls out. I, I've seen people really yank on it, but I like to be careful with my stuff. It should come out and this peels up from the back here, like so. mat is out. Let's clean it up a little bit here. So now we've exposed this pedal group here but we have to get this plate up and in order to get this plate up we need to pry up this little So snap fastener here and you put your finger here and lift this whole thing up. bolt over there is a T30 like we just used. This one right here is a different size. And these are a different size. These are a T27. See water has gotten in here. This looks kind of rusty. I'm going to see if I can clean these things off out so this can have a better bite. 
and then uh, so we don't mess it up. Little PB blaster. Let that sit for a little bit. Now, I made a mistake. I thought it was T, um, a T27. It's actually T30 now. I've gotten some of this cleaned out here. So let's go ahead and see if we can't get those loose. Put this on the wire wheel and clean it up really good. Boy, I don't think this has ever been taken out. This has got to be the original M core in this thing. This is a 2018, and we'll know for sure when we get down to it. But boy, this thing has never been taken out. And these M cores aren't supposed to last very Here it long. comes. Wow, look at that thing. And we'll clean this top off and knock the rust off of the head here. Okay. Let's see about the other one. Okay. Good. It's coming without stripping. And this is going to be just as difficult. Other videos I've seen. And how to do this have been done by shops and they don't take these out at least the ones i've seen they kind of take them up as far as they and they catch and and then they take those out and lift this thing up and gives them room and to work but i decided to take these out because they were in such condition and i put them on the wheel wire wheel and clean them up and they had washers underneath them that had disintegrated so i replaced all that so i'm, I'm glad i did that you might want to consider doing that in yours too. You can see these have these sort of these self-tapping bolts that went down into the aluminum frame. So they it should go down. That was put in at the well, factory. These have cleaned out nicely. Now let's pull the uh, pedal assembly the up. Pedal assembly pulled up. And here's our M core. This one's made in Mexico. Hmm. Don't know if it's factory or what. So all we have to do is undo this. As a sidebar, I wanted to show you this. This 2018 club car precedent already comes pre-wired for rear lights and for a brake light. If you wanted to put this thing on the road. Um, and uh, now I don't know if there's bulbs back there. I've never checked. I didn't even know this was pre-wired. So here you go. Isn't that nice? It kind of fits right here in this channel. And it just kind of lays right in there like that. Little screws out. And you have to give this a little pry. There we go. And now it's off. There you go. Okay. You see there's the little drive that goes in there. With the pedal. And you unplug it. And I just noticed something here. I'm going to lubricate all this before I put it. I'm going to lubricate all this before I put it back together. Old, new, and you can't get the wires all messed up. Three wires at the bottom, two wires at the top. So you unplug this and plug it into here. And I think what I'm going to do is use some dialectic grease on this. And when I put it in here, and, um, and then we'll put it all back together again. It says, replaces 406 triple zero six three four oh six triple zero six three so this one replaces this one let's hope it lasts as long as this one did new M cores installed mechanisms lubricated now we're getting ready to put this thing back together go okay. now I put this 
floor plate in. Now we put the uh, rubber mat in. This rubber mat is very flexible. So we can just kind of drop it in right here. Yeah. I like this. Let's just see if we can not get underneath here first. There we go. And underneath this cup holder over here. Yes. Alright, now we can just pull this thing out here. Right. Okay, that and looks we can good. Just pull this out. And so slightly, that just pops out. See? There we go. This goes back in there. Everything feels all right. Let's go ahead and put these screws back in. Two, and then three, four, all back together. Now we have to flip the toe switch to run. Hold this thing up here so I can do it. Toe switch to run. Right back in here. Let's see, we put our tool, let's put our tool out. Well, let's give this rascal a try. Mission on, reverse. Okay, the solenoid's noise kicked and I can feel the motor. Oh, that was quicker than what it had to be. All right. All right. Yeah. Thank you for watching Ken's Show and Tell.